Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whichever time zone you are viewing from. So welcome to our channel at Tech Society All Learners. So as promised, we come up with a new practitioner question. So without wasting time, let's go on to the question. Yes, so the question is, as the chief enterprise architect at a large pharmaceutical company, you are facing challenges in managing the rapidly growing company. The company has expanded from manufacturing basic pharmaceuticals to offering a variety of services like drug discovery, clinical trials, biotechnology and personalized medicine. Recent projects have exceeded their budget and underperformed negatively in affecting the company's reputation and share price, the executive management believes the organization structure has contributed to these project failures. So as we told earlier that there might be in the questions, you will get a lot of things that which might not be relevant for you uh, to answer the questions or finding the best answer of the question. So here you see in the first paragraph, there is nothing which is relevant, which might be relevant for the a question so okay so it's just setting the context so let's uh, move on so the company has a company has an existing enterprise architecture program based on the TOGAF standard so already they have done the enterprise architecture of the project so and which was sponsored by ceo and cio the ceo has decided to restructure the company's divisions around the artificial intelligence and machine learning with an emphasis on automation, okay? So the CEO has collaborated with the enterprise architects to develop a strategic architecture for the restructuring, including an architecture vision and definitions for the four domain architectures. This is a very important point. The CEO already has a collaborated with the enterprise architects to develop the strategic architecture for the restructuring, including architecture vision and definition for four domain architectures. Okay, so this presents an ambitious three year vision for the company's future, including a set of work packages, three distinct transformation. So this means the already CEO has a talk with EA team and they are developing uh, the vision or the roadmap and it's the strategic architecture if you see they are saying it presents the ambitious for the three-year vision so they have the proper roadmap and they are talking about strategic architecture this will be a very important point another thing is a set of work packages so you were you are quite sure now now they are in the phase f which is the means they are the output is set of work packages and the, obviously the final roadmap. So the CIO has emphasized that the EA team must evaluate the risk associated with the proposed architecture before approving the detailed implementation and mitigation plan. So this is also a very important point. So must have is the must evaluate the risk associated. So this is our main point for the answering this question. So the, the, which is saying the must evaluate. So our answer, whichever will be the five pointer or so that should have this point, evaluate the risk. Okay, before approving the detailed implementation and migration plan. Key stakeholders across the company have expressed concerns that the proposed restructuring may be overly ambitious and there is uncertainty about whether it can deliver enough value to justify the risk. Obviously, you know that means enterprise architects are agents of stakeholders. So stakeholders have the final say. So and obviously with the answer whatever the EA team will decide that needs to mitigate the concerns of the stakeholders so and their concern is obviously that restructuring is maybe overly ambitious so we need to be a little bit uh, uh, proactive and give the prop the answer should give it in such a way so their concerns will be mitigated so that also we need to keep it in mind. But for the question purpose, the main point, what we understand, we need to have the vision and the risk should be properly evaluated. So that these are the two main points. So given this scenario, you are tasked with suggesting a strategy to address this concern based on the TOGAP standard, which option would be the best. 
so we understood now the main point what we need to find out is the vision roadmap and it must evaluate the risk now go to the answers answer a the enterprise architect should gather information about potential approaches and create several alternative target transition architectures several alternative target transition architecture might be an option but not a very good option there should be there they should then explore the different architecture alternatives and discuss this with stakeholders using the architecture alternatives and trade-off technique this is a very good technique uh, uh, obviously we we discussed that uh EA, ea team or the enterprise architect should properly discuss about what are the alternative solutions or the trade-offs with stakeholders but in this question i don't think that this was the main point so till this point this cannot be the answer now let's move on once the target architecture has been selected it should analyze using a state evaluation table to determine the transition architectures a value realization process should then be established to ensure the raised concerns are addressed value realization process is part of phase h not f that is another thing and in this questions they are not talking about anything on risk yeah they are obviously talking about the uh with the state evaluation table uh the how the final uh, roadmap will be achieved or the transition architecture i will show you what is state evaluation table if any of you if uh, no one knows that or if some of someone already is familiar with but nothing to worry i will show you what is uh, state evaluation table in this question only and so here nothing they are talking about risk and it's a must thing so it cannot be the best answer now move on question answer b ensuring interoperability in line with the corporate operating model will minimize risk yeah corporate operating model with might minimize risk but not the best way the enterprise architect should conduct an interoperability analysis to evaluate any potential issues across the architecture this should include the development of a matrix showing the interoperability requirements this can be included within the transformation strategy embedded in the tra target transition architectures the enterprise architect should then finalize the architecture roadmap and the implementation mitigation plan implementation and mitigation plan so this is a good option but still what they are saying that key stakeholders have expressed that it's overly ambitious so it needs to be detailed implementation detail they emphasize detailed implementation migration plan but here it's not that detail so it might be the three pointer but cannot be the best answer let's see what other options are saying option c before preparing the detailed implementation and migration plan the enterprise architect should review and consolidate the gap analysis results from phase b to d that means if they are saying in phase e that is our primary thing right we need to do the gap analysis the results from phase b to d so they are that they are doing the detailed implementation and migration plan actually happens in phase e so this will identify the transformations required to achieve the proposed target architecture the enterprise architect should then assess the organization's readiness for change and determine an overall direction to address and mitigate it, mitigate identified risk the transition architecture should then be planned using a state evaluation table okay so uh, so here they are saying the gap analysis they are saying the identify transformations required to achieve proposed target architecture they are saying organization's readiness which is actually business transformation readiness assessment which is not part of uh, phase e and f actually so here it's not specific to risk 
and uh, transition architecture should be planned to state evaluation table that I will show you. But it it might be a answer, but it's not the best answer because they are mostly talking about uncertainty about to justify the risk. With this, the risk justification is not that much uh, justified. Let's see, is there any better option available or not? Option D, the enterprise architect should assess the organization's readiness for change. Yeah, okay. This will allow the risk associated with the transformations to be identified, classified and mitigated. So this is the main point for risk analysis or the uh, risk management. This is the point. This should be identified, classified and mitigated. This should include identifying dependencies between the ch changes, including gaps and work packages. So it will also identify improvement actions to be incorporated into the implementation and migration plan. Exactly that only identifying is not the thing how the improvement actions will be incorporated so that should be part of your implementation and migration plan the business value effort and risk associated with each transformation should be determined okay so here also you are seeing so this type of situations you you might encounter in the actual exam also here you are seeing that in this option you have all the pointers for risk so and how the risk will be identified classified mitigated and the, if the problem happens any dependency how it will how it will be uh, addressed how what will be the improvement actions but in this option they are not talking about anything on the strategic thing or the vision architecture vision or roadmap but in other options you will see the, in all these three options, especially in B and C, they are talking about the architecture roadmap or how the here specifically finalize the roadmap they are saying and they are saying this in this option that how it will actually go to the roadmap in, with the state evaluation table they are saying. But to answer for this question, so you might get confused, but you might, you need to see that what is the main thing they said. They said the fourth paragraph is very important. They said EAT must evaluate the risk. That is one thing. And key stakeholder concern was that it is an over ambitious thing. So here it they need to justify whether it can deliver enough value to justify the risk. And in the questions they are asking to address these concerns, they are not trying to say that address the roadmap, how they will achieve. They are addressed, they need to address the main risk. So in this way, we can say that option D has all the pointers or all the things for risk. So option D is the five pointer option. Now I will show you the, what is the state evaluation table and I will show you a little bit about the risk management also. Okay, so if you see here, so this is from the open group only that this is a state evaluation table, which Means so what it does, we can uh, create a, we will create a different video also for our TOGAF techniques. So just for the sake of these questions, I am showing you with the state evaluation table that this shows the technique by which the, how you will go to the proposed state of architecture. Suppose this is your transition architecture. They were saying, suppose so just give an example of infrastructure applications and this is suppose for dms data management services so you need to means ea will identify so first in the first suppose in the first phase it will go the system or solution or system d okay and in the second phase also it it will retain 
that solution system D. Okay, and in the transition architecture three, it will retain the same thing. And if you want that it you it, it try to replace the thing, we can do it with a new one. Suppose in the another one they are saying information exchange services, you can see in the arch transition architecture one, they will replace it. They will replace it and in the transition architecture two, they are building their solution system B1. And in the transition architecture three, it's completely a new one. So this is a kind of showing how your transition architecture state will be varied with your uh, are completely tier in the technical reference model. So this is a thing for mainly for uh, how your architecture will grow and with your trans it's not the entire thing at a go. So it's the milestone you will achieve. So this is a transition uh, uh, state evaluation table, transition architecture state evaluation table as it was referred in uh, all the three options. So that, that is what I was trying to say, but the, our question was mainly aimed for risk management. So you can go through the risk management and all these things. Uh, I just uh, find out another uh, article in uh, TOGAF. So this also you can go through, but the for learning purpose also means or knowledge purpose, you know that entire thing, this risk management has been done in E and F. So this risk classification, which I was showing risk classification, identification and mitigation. These all are part of E and F. And whenever these things are done, what you need to do, so you need to do the uh, Whenever we do the uh, initial thing, it's the initial risk assessment and our preliminary risk assessment. And after the risk, after the thing, whenever the mitigation done, the, that is residual risk. So this is a completely uh, risk identification and uh, mitigation assessment when actual EA, whenever after certification, you will work as a EA, you need to do it like this. You need to identify the risk and their preliminary and residual risk effect, obviously effect pre frequency impact, all things. So this is the actually main point of the questions, how this risk will be identified, classified and mitigated. So this is a risk classification thing, classification scheme, how you will actually do. So I will provide the links in the our video. So you can go through this and don't uh, see that this is TOGAF 9 or 10. These concepts didn't change in TOGAF between TOGAF 9 and 10. You can go through this is a TOGAF 10 thing, but uh, it's more vast and these techniques are not that much elaborated. Okay, so that was the question and answer. So thank you for seeing the video. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. See you in our next video. Bye.